Hello everybody, it's me And welcome to Oh, you didn't hear me? Uh, fuck it. Let's start <laughs> Okay, so I've been playing this game a bit And it begins pretty good. Nineteen seventy five. Oh, you see, too. Uh, she's about your age, late twenties, laughing with fellow dressed. And great students will never see you out of it. You, Henry, are out drinking with your bells. You approach her. You're drunk. So, um. Let's be straight. <laughs> you're pretty, she says coolly. You're not. <laughs> you're a huge hangover. What? You reply confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter and one week later you are Julie's boyfriend. That was quick. Okay, this was really good, so... Let's get out of here. This is pretty good. And this isn't a truck. And let's get in. Let's start the adventure. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You too drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life's good. <laughs> Julia wants to get a dog. Okay. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring with her to class. There's also an infant. What? Fuck it. That gentle eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. <laughs> I really like German shepherd. Yeah. And name him Mayhem. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. Mayhem. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, Chart and Ted, all rolled into one. In 1979, you dove out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 pm, and the heat still radiates off of the high to say. What do you think of it? Yes. Okay. They are not very smart or good at much. I think if you and I had some, like a couple of idiots. Okay, um, that would be pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like it, you see. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's a good boy. pretend that I don't know what I'm doing because uh, I played this before so but hey I don't know the whole story so I'm done 98 it's a first day night and Julia is four hours late she doesn't call you are right when getting angry by the minute she walks in after you go to bed She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. Fight when she gets between the sheets. Um, I wouldn't get mad, but I would talk to her probably. I I wouldn't ignore her. It's I don't know. It's a bad idea. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and not to be such a baby. 
you call her selfish. <laughs> she knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Hmm. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. <laughs> no, Victoria's Secret model. Yes. <laughs> Julia was right. You're very pretty. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Come on, can we? Go. I really want to impale. Spiky things. I don't like spiky things, to be honest. Oh dear, this is such a good story. Two forks, look out tower. Eight miles to go. I bet mile is like 1.5 kilometer. I'm not sure. In 1982, during the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mock you with a knife. Mayhem runs away. What the hell, dog? May, me, mo, fuck, to the dog. Julia yells. She gets frustrated and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront, you confront the other girl. Uh, you beat his goddamn face in. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to the pub. You don't feel right that. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from the day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go the way either. From then on you walk by the road. 1984. Plans to have kids can be by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Hong Kong. From fucking English. 2000 miles away. It's a great job as she department chair. She wants to move. You upset and do not. Um, this is a hard decision. Not to take the job or commutes. Okay. I would say con convince her not to take the job. You tell her that this means you two won't have family. Is that pushy. She's doing very well. She asks, she asks if her taking the job means you won't come to her. You say yes, again, push. But she decides not to take it. 1985. Jura is asked to leave father on paid leave after having an episode. She was his only colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember. She had happily lied and to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. Um, I wouldn't pretend like there's nothing at all to talk. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone else. Yeah, I think that's it. After seeing multiple doctors, you're having many tests. They are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. We both decide to keep it a secret for now. Hmm, I Look at the art, so pretty! <laughs> oh gee, I should pause like a minute. Mayhem is getting older. He's got several hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk into the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's the best man. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. So 
some day, some days you get the Julia who calls you a dog and your unborn child a little idiot. For the days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into the tunnel believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from the home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1998. You spend your days following Julius around the house. You climb the second between the two weekly visits from Daniel to the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live some, somewhere else, somewhere with 24 hour care at home. It's in with you for a couple months. Um, no, no, this one. You're determined to take care of her. Yeah. So, I read a lot about this game, and it's it's really, really story based game. It's all about the story. So, I like this type of games. I think this will be my favorite. Oh dear. But I'll talk about it later. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the day, watching baseball in the summer, calling basketball in the winter, drinking them too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you go. Um, I think like dress is. Oh hell! I would put a chair in front of the door because she can she can hurt herself and stuff. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Paris, and it's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge way off. You're home and in bed. Why? Why? A couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. 1989. One night you are stupid at DUI Chippewa. You blow a point ten and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister in law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane for Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Wow. So. This is where we begin our story, our breathless story. Okay, don't be so fast. Okay, calm down, honey. Wow, oh. it feels really weird after reading the story. To be honest, turn on the power. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hello, two tower. Hello. How's it going? Hello. Reply. This is really weird controlling, to be honest. Um, hello? <laughs> Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm Delilah. Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. Mm -hmm. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? 
What's wrong with you? <laughs> That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I like, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. What the hell? Um... Good. <laughs> okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. Yeah. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. <laughs> Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but maybe you just really like trees. Mm. Maybe it's. Gosh, maybe it's a borderline fetish. A tree hell? fetish. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Biowatch. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with her? Day one. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hmm. Okay. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus. I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Mm hmm Yep. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Hmm? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. <laughs> Out your west-facing window, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? Fireworks. Well, lady. Oh, yeah, that's fireworks. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? <laughs> Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Uh. uh. Do I write him a ticket? <laughs> Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. <laughs> Smart. It's actually that for <laughs> all of them. Oh. Um. Yeah, it's smart. Smart. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay, let's go. I really like. Sh uh, what, what was her name? Did I, did I, ah, I don't remember her name. Sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I said I'm sorry. So don't be mad. Hmm. I'm ready to mad. So it was west. Okay, we need to go west. Here is a trick uh, I've learned in school. Yes, we're here. Go somewhere. Okay, so here should be a path. So I wanted to say something, but I don't remember what it was. Hello, I think I'm going the wrong way. Somewhere over here was the. Uh, Nice view, but I don't remember where. Here? No. Never mind. I'll figure it later. Let's give me a second. Okay. This way. 
go, Henry, go. I need to find the path. Uh, basic is not finding the path. When you are on the path, that's then it's easy. Okay. We're on the path. And don't get lost. It's not good. So, let's go stop the little bastards. Oh, here's the supply box. Whatever. Open. Hey. <laughs> let's put the genie's coat. Yes. Why I always do the longest way for the numbers? <laughs> Um, copy the information, please. Um, nope. Hey, you can read it. Okay. I'm, but I'm gonna keep it. <gasps> Take the rope. Oh, come on, come on, man. Um, <gasps> Take the chicken bar. Yes. Hold it. No, it did. Hold it. No, I just. Hmm. Hmm. Nice go. <laughs> okay, let's go. We are heading to the west. Yes. To the west. Save the world, uh, I mean, save the forest from the firework. <laughs> nice song. Okay, I have no idea why I never follow the path. Oh dear, I know, I know. I should do that. Hey, this is so weird. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? <laughs> Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500 pound grizzly bears out here. Mm. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. <laughs> people killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. Mm. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. <laughs> oh, she's pretty tough. Ooh. Okay. Right on. Let's go. I have never done this before. I mean, in real life. In this game. Yeah. Dude, what I mean. No, no, no! <laughs> oh, oh. Hey man, nice belly. <laughs> hey man, go. Hey, we should hey. be both. Oh, what the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, um. did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Christ's sake. <gasps> ah. The language. <laughs> okay. That I think I don't have the rope because I broke it. Yes. What happened? Hey, just you just can't go small. What the hell where 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 am I? Where was the firework? I'm oh, going the wrong way. Let's find out. <laughs> I'm going good way. Just don't worry. Oh, nice sun. Uh. It is a hell of a nice okay. camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, mm. but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. 
Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Okay. We should clean this place up. Because we have something like forest protection. <laughs> that sounds pretty weird. But you know what I mean. Hey? Nice and clean. Oh, they left their backpacks. They left their packs tied <laughs> up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Hmm. <gasps> campfire. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? I probably don't need this in my life right now. Hmm. Why it didn't explode? Explode. Okay. Then I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, fun time. <laughs> Come, Phil. Come. Yes. And what do we get here? A bunch of fireworks. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I found a bra. We could a have found pyromaniac. Bra. Remain professional. Ooh. Ouch. <gasps> we must have brought uh, the <laughs> I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> oh. There's a. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> um. There are two naked ladies out here. Come on, I like I naked know. ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know... Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. Okay. Hey, ladies. How's it going? I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, nope. Enjoy dealing with that. <laughs> Okay, um... I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the bushes, spying on us? Give him a break, Lily. He probably you know has boobs in 20 years. Oh, hey! Put that down! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> no way. Haha. <laughs> asshole! No. Light another <laughs> firework and it won't be your stereo Iraq. Hey, ladies. You can't just harass girls in the woods. With the bad language. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here. I don't like you. Wow. But the sound for this guy, don't I? What the hell? <laughs> they are on island. Hey, that go okay? okay? Disappear. Yeah. It went it fine. It went fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. <laughs> Good. Thanks for going down there. Hmm. Uh, hey, there's a trail to Two Forks Tower down here near the lake. Yeah, that's your tower. So I should go this way. Well, you're not climbing back up that slide. Mm, that's right. Because I don't have the rope. Because the rope is broken. To the right path. Broken rope? Really? <laughs> Hell, I don't know. Just go this way. So, I wanted to talk about the game, but uh, Delilah, or whatever is her name, disturbed me, like always. So, this game is really story based, and the gameplay should be, um, I read like, 
it it's best so idea it's I to... have a bit of a confession to make. Hey, I don't want to say something. What is it? Um look I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just <laughs> I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll I'll keep that sort of a thing to uh to a minimum. <laughs> anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Okay, I would appreciate it. So, the best way to go through this game is to cooperate with Delilah and all the stuff. Yep. So I'm gonna follow what the hell the advices. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, mm -hmm. right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh... I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm <laughs> safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout <laughs> named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't Ooh. like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? Oh. Was he one of these fire watchers? That's light. I'll take it. Yep. Ah! Hey. What the hell, man? Okay. And copy the information. To my beautiful man. Oh, what? No, no. Hold on. Okay. Drop it there. I close. We're done. And we have to go. In the cave. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Mm -hmm. Hey, I didn't <laughs> name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... <laughs> maybe it's mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, oh, sorry, Hank. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, Delilah? <laughs> Climb up. What? Um, There's some guy out here. Hey, man. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? Yes. I, I don't think so. Henry, hey. there's, there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's, it's, it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Nice jump, man. Okay, the guy is definitely weird. I'm not gonna tell you what will happen, but I don't like this guy. To be honest. And I'm always honest, to be honest. <laughs> oh, that was awful job. I usually... Make one of those of the jokes. What? Oh, Chazali. Okay. I'm a bit scared. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't want to bump into the guy. I don't like him. It's way weird. Hey. Oh. 
Oh, 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 man. Damn it. Yeah, damn it. Go. Let's go. What? Was there the light? Hold on. Let's talk about this later. Here you go. I feel something wrong with this. Look out. Huh? Because... Uh, what can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. Mm hmm. Fuck this situation. I need a gun. Oh. I need a gun. To be honest. Oh, dear. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Mm hmm? It would be great, Delilah. Okay, let's put this back. <laughs> and let's paint it up. My bad. No, no. Okay, I put in a this. call. This all my shit. That was fast. Um, yeah, well. Do you have any idea who could have done this? The guy. No, the girl's Maybe that guy I yeah, saw in the, the canyon, guy. but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. Uh, I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. <laughs> uh, Just point me to yeah. the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? Mm, yeah. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Day two. So, I hope you like this episode i like so much so far so i hope i'll see you later <laughs>